which are the sectors, according to you, you see the blockchain to be more disruptive in you? Uh, yeah, so... In the future, at least. Yeah, I think the low-hanging fruits are payments, uh, banking, and remittance. Mm -hmm. uh, and there are, there are some promising ones like NFTs in games and um, perhaps, let's see... Um, I think we still are trying to enable the basics, like you know, people using the pay other people across borders. I think that's very, very, just makes it. Uh, it's way better than the existing system today, um, and ribbon ribbons uh, is way cheaper, you know, across borders than yeah. than, than today's uh, rails. Um, there are many, many other promising uh, applications that. Um, to be honest, I don't know whether it's gonna be very, very popular, but in general, like I said in my talk, anytime you have a decentralized network, you cut out the middleman, everything, the economic rent that the middleman extracts can redistribute back to the participants mm -hmm. where you transact peer to peer. Um, that naturally brings the cost of the service and transaction down, and that's good for everyone. So you can apply that principle to many different use cases. I think a lot of projects are um, slowly enabling those use cases, but uh, they're still building. So we haven't seen uh, you know, those come to fruition yet. Yeah. Um, do you think there are too many tokens nowadays? <laughs> I think it's uh, healthy to have innovation. Mm. Um, just like in any technology disruption, just like in mobile, you have many, many apps, but maybe like only a portion of that will succeed. So it's good to have a lot of innovation and see which one actually uh, provides value to, to society. I think it's definitely good to have that instead of like, uh, you know, just a few tokens and people only having to use. I think it's good to have choice in general. So people are free to choose what they, they feel uh, is best for them, for their particular situation. And what's your opinion about Libra, the, Libra? the, the currency of yeah, Facebook? Yeah, I said that in the, the other interview. Um, mm. I think it's a very positive thing for the industry. Uh, Facebook is one of the biggest companies, you know, today, not only internet company, but, you know, very big company in general. Uh, they have one of, they're part of the company with the greatest distribution and reach across the world, right? They have billions of users across many different products. Um, so just by having a company like that be interested in crypto brings a lot of awareness into the space. So when they launch Libra, like every you know, press is talking about it. Um, and then people, because they are curious about Libra, they'll learn about cryptocurrency. If you can learn about cryptocurrency, they'll you know, learn that, hey, there's many different coins, there are many tokens, so they're free to choose uh, Libra or some, something else. Um, so just, just that, by that alone, I think it's super positive. So, yeah, I like it. And uh, what do you think about st um, STOs? Will be the game changer for the future of the crowdfunding? Yeah, I think, you know, uh, just like in 2017, the ICOs democratize mm -hmm. fundraising. So if I'm a project, I can just fundraise from all over the world instantly and without too much friction. I think the old model is like you got to go to a VC, maybe Silicon Valley, and there's a small group of people controlling a lot of money and you have to convince them to give you to fund your project and now you can just go to the world and uh, raise money that way and people can participate in your project without sure. uh, friction. So I think it's a generally good thing. Yeah. And um, what about the mass adoption of cryptos? Um, when and how we will reach it? I don't know when but technology disruption never uh, is linear so you cannot see it coming. It's mm -hmm. always like this and then there's an inflection point and it goes like this mm -hmm. right so it happens with every single company airbnb was like this for many years and it went like this Peak. yeah so same as uber same as everything uh same as mobile mobile you know 10 years of not, nothing happening and then also an iphone happened um so the same thing with crypto crypto has been around for 10 11 years so we're still super early so yeah, it, in fact, in 10 years, I think it's gotten quite a bit of traction, but I think the inflection point will come soon because so many entrepreneurs and developers are building stuff on top of it, so it'll, uh, somebody would you know, make it uh, you know, so useful that everybody would adopt it.
Yeah. And finally, do you have any provision about the Bitcoin price? No, I don't. No? <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing I don't do. Uh, I think it will naturally go up as it provides more and more value to the people. So I don't really care about the price that much. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> thank you so much.